What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about some of the perk changes coming to Destiny 2 here in just a few weeks with the new sandbox changes in March. And some of the perks on the weapons, especially in PvE, some of these perks may be worth kind of looking at now. You know, most of us kind of know the weapon. Uh, when we get a weapon, what roles you're wanting on it to be kind of that god role. But there will be some changes to perks and I think some of these may be a little bit more interesting than they were in the past. First of all, Hill Clip now grants Cure times 2 to the player while still granting cure times one to nearby enemies also trench barrel can now be active uh, activated by dealing damage with uh, ranged melees the trench barrel was originally designed in a world where there were few ranged melee attacks and it wasn't desirable to make them even more valuable by allowing them to activate certain perks that no longer is the case and we're starting to open up uh kind of open up those ideas the barrel uh Constrictor was uh, fairly ex uh, kind of experimental, so they have kind of got rid of those limits. So the barrel constructor at once activated it no longer deactivates upon firing a shot. It lasts for 7.5 seconds and it buffs all shots fired during that time. And enhanced barrel uh, constructor lasts for 8.5 seconds. Loose change is strong in PvP subclasses, uh, kind of build, but it isn't particularly interesting in PvP. So they're adding some buffs to help with that. Now, loose change, I'm not a really a big fan of in PvE, even honestly. Not for me personally, but applying a subclass 3.0 debuff now grants plus 20 aim assist and a 20% reduction in ADS movement speed penalty in addition to the existing plus 50% stat. Applying another debuff now refreshes the duration too. Dual loader takes up uh, a trait slot, which is sometimes sufficient enough cost that it doesn't need a penalty. The wording also locked it to the shotgun when there were other continuous reload weapons in the game that already uh, load more than one round at a time. So dual loader, they removed the reload speed penalty and they also changed the wording of the perk description to make it clear that increase in the number of shots reloaded so we can now apply it to other weapon types without confusion in the future. Which is kind of interesting because the dual loader, of course, had that speed penalty, you know, issue where if you had dual loader, a lot of people just never used it. I don't even think I have a weapon anymore that has dual loader on it because, you know, some of the older shotguns that I had a long time ago had this, of course, perk, but I got rid of all of them that had it because of this issue. Uh, now you'll be able to load pretty much two shots at a time without a a reload speed penalty which is going to be really big in my opinion for those shotgun users in pve and pvp so just keep in mind once this update goes out in march dual loader loose change uh barrel constructor and trench barrel and hill clip may be things you want to keep an eye out on especially if you're a pve player now loose change for pvp players of course if you're looking for something like that but when it comes to pve hill clip trent uh trench barrel that barrel constructor and of course dual loader will be something that a lot of you may not have considered in the past to use on your weapons when you get a drop with those on it maybe something kind of like to me i just trashed them <laughs> when i saw this stuff i was like well not really worth keeping but now those perks may become more useful to players going forward leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace